What is going on you guys? Kika here back with another video and today we finally got our new fuel pump for the Kawasaki TRX behind me since we broke the last one. If you guys haven't watched the last episode pretty much um, I was getting done with a bunch of stuff on this thing and I ended up breaking the piece that goes right here to the hose. I was trying to put the seat down. The seat slid and that's plastic so of course it hit it. Broke it. The car was already running, everything was good, but the seat slipped, broke that, so I had to order a new one, and it finally came in today. I got it on Amazon, I believe it was like $55, um, and it looks like everything is right on this thing. So, it's a 4 pin, that's what that one is, and we're going to get a new pump set up on here. I don't think I need anything else. Uh, it should just be an easy swap. I think all I have to do is remove those, uh, what are they, like 8 millimeters? There's probably like 5, 6 of them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And also, um, picked up some wheel spacers. I might do the wheels and tires on the same episode. And so I went with these, found these for pretty cheap, uh, although I am regretting them. Bought these for a hundred bucks, and they are from a 2021 Can Am. I believe it's a Maverick X3 or something like that. And the tire size are 30 by 10 by 14s. Rims are 14s, obviously. I did try them on the other day, but this the front ones were rubbing. And the back ones were okay, but the back spacing is different, so they are in first. Uh, or sorry, they are in more than they should be. And um, also the the hub centric area right here is different because those the other rims they don't have an opening like this. Uh, that's not how the Can-Ams are set up. So that's why I went with the wheel spacers too. It should push it out more and it should look a little bit better. And plus we won't have to worry about this um, being uh, something different where the rim is going to sit on. Because then it kind of sits on the edge of this and it just doesn't fit right. Um, there's a couple of people that I've seen on YouTube that put these on the same wheels. And they did the same thing. They had to get spacers and everything. Um, another couple of things that I got on order you guys. And the, which is the reason we haven't tried to run the the Kawasaki here, the uh, T-Rex is we are waiting on. There's a cover, there's a mat like cover, the rubber mat that goes right here. And I ordered that. I ordered the cover that goes on the opposite side. It's like a little square opening that's like an uh, access hole. Um, what else did I order? I ordered this, and I also ordered a lift kit for it. It's just that two-inch lift kit. I got it on eBay, and eBay sold it for thirty dollars. I think Amazon sells it for seventy or eighty dollars, which is a lot more expensive. Uh, but it does get here faster, as you guys know, Amazon Prime and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty much uh, that's what it is, and uh, also. I ended up picking up these spacers today. Uh, the spacers I could have got on Amazon. I think it was like 80, 90 bucks. I picked these up. I picked up two different sets from two different people on offer up today. I actually got these for 20 bucks. And I got the new set for $30 um, off of another guy on, on, um, on offer up. So we're going to go ahead and put the pump in today. And we're probably going to get the wheels and tires put on. And then um, I'm hoping for the next video, you guys, uh, we could put the lift kit on. If not, I might also just do the, the fuel pump today and just make that one video. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started on putting in this new fuel pump, you guys.
All right, you guys, there you have it. The Kawasaki's back up and running, you guys, and the fuel pump was pretty much almost identical. I didn't see any problems with um, the difference and it fit in just the same as the other one came out so I don't think it was too big of a deal but as you guys saw I literally did that in probably like five minutes probably maybe ten minutes just because I unpackaged the other one and let it drain out all the gas and before I pulled it out and then matched them up threw in the new one you guys saw it runs it sounds decent I didn't run it for long but I'm in the garage it's like 10 o'clock so uh, that's it for today's video you guys thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace, y'all.